Ciao a tutti, benvenuti, bentornati. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back. Sono le due e mezza. Sono le due e mezza. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, una domanda per voi. A question for you guys. Pensate che io deva farmi la barba? Oh no. We're going to start a two-part series uh, the, uh, where we talk about words in Italian that may look similar in English. Today you're going to see um, mostly nouns that all look similar. The interesting thing or the important thing here is that vowels are paramount in Italian. If you pronounce a word with the incorrect vowel, you could be saying a completely different word. Just like cat and caught in English don't mean the same thing, but to a foreigner that they might look similar. Or to a non-English speaker, a non-native English speaker, they might look similar because they both start with C and end with T, but the letter in the middle is different. So again, today we're going to go over these words. You'll see pretty quickly why they look similar. Practice our pronunciation a little bit and uh, maybe learn some associated phrases. Let's begin. Il posto. A place. The place. I posti. I posti. The places. Uh, related is a posto. And that means okay or fine or in place. So if you if you say to me, stai bene? Are you okay? I could say, si, sì, tutto a posto. Yeah, everything is in place. Everything is okay. Ciao. Tutto a posto. Hi, everything okay? La posta. La posta is the mail or the post office. Devo andare alla posta. I have to go to the post office. Le poste is the postal service, um, which in Italian, the postal service in Italy is called poste italiane. So you can say, I work at the post office or I work for the postal service. Lavoro alle poste. So this is a case where the singular la posta means one thing, the mail, or the post office, and le poste is related, but it's slightly different. It's the postal service. Uh, il pasto, that's the meal. I pasti, the meals. Il pastore, I threw that in there because it's similar. That's a shepherd, or a preacher, or a minister, or a pastor. I pastori is the plural for that. La pista. That's an interesting one because you can add things at the end. But it basically means a track or a runway or the floor or a course or a trail. So, for instance, la pista, the singular, le piste, the plural. So, la pista da sci, uh, ski slope. La pista da ballo, the dance floor. La pista da corsa, a running course or a running track. Uh, and then we have in pista. So that just means like uh, on track, in business, in the game. You can say, Devi rimetterti in pista. You need to get back in the game. You have to get yourself back in there. Or we can say, Siamo tornati in pista. Hey, we're back in the game. Hey, we're back in business. La pasta? That's just like pasta in English. So it refers to the food, the pasta. But it can also be the dough or a pie crust, or a cake dough. So you have la pasta della pizza. That's the pizza dough, la pasta della torta, a cake dough, or a pie crust. But dough can also be l'impasto, impasto. Le paste could be the plural of pasta, so it could just be pastas, but it can also be pastries or sweets. I pasticini is the same thing. That can be pastries or sweets. Those can also be known as dolci for sweets. Hopefully you've learned a little bit today about some words that sound the same. Remember the, the most important thing when you're, uh, when you're pronouncing your words in Italian is to make sure you get those vowels correct. A-E-I-O-U in English, remember, to Italian is A-E-I-O-U. And those are always the same. A is always A. E is always E, is always E, O is always O, 
and U is always U. So let's just go down the list one more time, pronounce these individually. Il posto, i pasti, a posto, tutto a posto, ciao, tutto a posto, la posta, devo andare alla posta, le poste, lavoro alle poste, scusa, lavoro alle poste, poste italiane, il pasto, i pasti, il pastore, i pastori, la pista, le piste, la pista da sci, la pista da ballo, la pista da corsa, in pista. Devi rimetterti in pista, siamo tornati in pista. La pasta, la pasta della pizza, la pasta della torta, l'impasto, le paste, i Pasticini. Okay. Thanks for being here, everybody. Buona giornata. Have a great day. Buona serata. Have a great evening. Alla prossima. Until next time. Ciao. Grazie. Ciao, ciao.